Hey guys, uh, I hope you're all doing fine. So, welcome to the California Virtual Summit 2020. Uh, our next speaker is uh, Raul Label. He is an eSport agency director at Webedia, and he will talk to you about eSport, a cultural discipline for everybody. Raul, the stage is yours. <laughs> Hello everybody. Hi everybody. I don't know if you hear me. I hope that everything is okay. Um, well, uh, it seems that we have some connection issues, so I hope that you um, you can um, good me. But uh, I, I will I will uh, begin and um, yeah, let me know if if you um, if you can uh, hear me or or, or think. So nice to see you all on this keynote. Um, I will, I will, I wanted to share with you a presentation, but I think it will be complicated. So I will just speak and tell you, um, and speak with you about esports. So uh, I introduce myself. My name is Raoul Label. Uh, I live in Paris, and I'm currently working for Webedia, uh, which bought my company about four years ago. Um, Webedia is one of the most important esports company in the world, and I've been um, uh, personally working in the sports industry for almost eight years uh, now. Previously, uh, I worked in different companies in the media sectors, um, radio, press, um, digital, and for the, for the, for the story, um, eight years ago, a friend called me proposing to start a company um, within in the world of esports. I must admit that at the time, I didn't know what eSports was. Uh, I had simply never heard about, uh, of it, so I asked him the question. And he, um, he replied that it was people watching other people uh, playing video games. And I remember very well what my answer uh, was. I don't understand the concept. Why people watch other people play video games? I just couldn't design the concept. So don't make fun because in 2012, there weren't many people who knew what um, esports really was. So, And it is for this reason um, that it seems to me very important um, that we can first of all clearly define what esports is. Um, that's the most important question. So, what is sport? Um, most commonly, sport means playing video games against one or more people in physical or online. Um, that's the most uh, common definition of sport. Um, when I'm playing FIFA, for example, with my friends, is sport. When I'm playing FIFA against uh, the, 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 the computer, it's not eSports. It goes gaming. And all eSports are video games, but not all video, um, not all video um, are, uh, not all video games, sorry, uh, are, are eSports. So it's, just, it's really important to understand that Esports belongs to video games, but video games is not only esports. And today, for example, people are considering esports such as crowded stadium, like thousands and thousands of crazy fans who are together to support their favorite teams. Um, esports um, are millions and millions of dollars of cash price offered to best teams, offered to, uh, to, to the best players. Um, there is an example of, of, of the guy who who won more than $30 million in the Fortnite um, Worldwide Championships. So eSports is all of this kind of, of images we can uh, every day uh, uh, see uh, in, the, in the medias. And, and uh, it's all the huge digital audience uh, which, um, which are reveling uh, with, with the best sport competitions today. And just a little focus on the history. eSports is not so new. It began in 1972 with Gameware. Um, it was a student event with uh, 24 students who played 
when you get when again uh, each other to win a year subscriptions to the Rolling Stone magazine. And um, then we waited until the early uh, 2000s with uh, broadband, and it made it possible to start podcasting competitions. Uh, but it was not so easy to find such a competition. The most important uh, moment was when um, Twitch was created, uh, 2011. And at this time, everybody could have access to the competition. And from this day, his popularity um, never stopped growing. Uh, and that's the, 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 the most important uh, date in the sport story was the creation of Twitch. And now it's become a full industry um, with about, I think, 500 million people who daily consult esports uh, content. It's more than $1 billion uh, dollar, um, total revenues in 2020. And it's almost, I think, 900 major events, even uh, here uh, worldwide. So esports is growing very fast, very strong. Values like uh, innovation, like respect, like team spirit, like uh, yeah, leaderships and such a such value. And it's funny to see how the media have changed in a few years um, on their vision of gaming and esport. There is not a week um, without a major international media who is now dealing uh, with the subject of esports. Um, so. Why so many media and so many uh, brands are interested in esports today? It's quite simple. It's mainly because esports represents uh, a very important community now. Uh, this community is, mm, is mainly made of young people, um, of video game fans, uh, who, uh, who spend a lot of time playing and watching others play. Uh, they spend a lot of time on video games um, or on Twitch, and they um, don't watch any more TV. And it's quite complicated to reach this target if you are not in gaming or in sport. Um, sport, the, the sport audience is um, is resistant to uh, conventional uh, advertisements. Uh, so you, you cannot reach them through TV or physical ads. So that's why today, every day, uh, we see new medias, we see new brands uh, who are positioning on, on, on esports. Uh, that's pretty funny to, to see how fast it's growing and how fast uh, medias and brands are now involving in, in, in esports. Um, it's a very well organized system with uh, pro players, with professional teams, who are playing games edited by, by publishers. Um, they play during competitions and tournaments, um, which are broadcast on live broadcast uh, platforms. And this whole ecosystem is supported by talents, um, media, brands, um, phones. So there is, it's a big, big ecosystem with a lot of money, with a lot of um, large audience. And, um, and the, 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 the main um, media who are, uh, who are broadcast uh, esports is, um, is the live stream uh, platform. So all the network which are specialized in cold content like VOD or such things like that are today working in live stream. For example, um, Amazon, about um, about for, uh, Twitch uh, a few years ago, um, YouTube uh, have, uh, has launched uh, YouTube YouTube uh, YouTube Gaming. Uh, Mixer is now a, a deal a partnerships with uh, with Facebook. So they are two, they are all involved in live stream because it's the most important thing in the esports. So you know, um, and there is another another thing really important in esports to understand because of this 
uh, this content, this kind of content, the, the, the live stream, um, the live stream is in, uh, embodied by talents. Uh, and these talents, we, we call them uh, streamers. And, and these streamers, they are real celebrities who bring together millions and millions of fans uh, who watch them every day playing video games, commenting uh, on games, or, um, or just chatting. And they can interact with their community via their chat. And it is for um, these reasons that they manage to create a, a real uh, relationships with their fans. So it is for all these reasons that more and more famous personalities uh, are engaging in, in gaming and esports. Um, you can speak about Drake, about Antoine Griezmann, about very famous football man, about very famous tennis man. Gael Monfils is one of, one, one of the most, uh, he became in a few weeks one of the most important streamers in France. Um, it's funny because he decided to, to begin to stream during the COVID crisis. And um, Gael is now one of the most powerful streamers in France. He decided to use Twitch as a new way to interact with, uh, with his community by stream every day during his tennis competitions, during his practices, during his um, uh, press conference. So he has a lot of ideas. It's, it's really, really exciting to see this kind of personality um, involved in the live stream. So that's, um, yeah, it's a um, good example of uh, of what uh, e-sport can bring to the um, to, 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 to the yeah to the sport industry to the entertainment industry. Um, another example, another good example is Fortnite, uh, and that's the best way to show um, how e-sports uh, can bring to the entertainment industry. You probably uh, heard about the Travis Scott uh, live show. And uh, this live show, uh, the live show we organize uh, on Fortnite, it gives an idea of how esports influence entertainment today. So yeah, it's for all these reasons that esports is becoming um, a, a powerful cultural phenomenon that could affect everyone today. So yes, we can definitely say that esports is becoming a cultural discipline for every, everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm convinced about that, and that's my real, fun, that's my um, deep conviction. So, yes, definitely yes. Well, uh, I hope that you 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 liked it, that you were able to hear me during this keynote, and that you learned uh, a lot of things. Um, I'm not sure that. Um, yeah, I don't know if we still have some time for questions. Uh, do not hesitate to um, to send questions if you need. In any case, and thank you very much for, for listening. Do not hesitate to contact me on Twitter or on, on LinkedIn. Do not hesitate. And yes, I think um, there is no specific questions. Okay, so finished for me. Thank you all. Have a good day and do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.